the death penalty, is it worth it? No, the death penalty is immoral. The death penalty results in irrevocable mistakes, it does not deter crime, is considered unconstitutional, and is usually racially biased. These factors clearly add up to one conclusion. The death penalty makes no sense. There is absolutely no credible evidence that the death penalty deters crime more effectively than long terms of imprisonment. In fact, it is thought of to be as the most least effective deterrent. There is a whopping error rate of one innocent person for every seven person executed. This is extremely unethical. No innocent person should ever be executed for a crime that they did not commit. Not only that, but nearly 70% of death verdicts are thrown out due to serious error, and a whopping 82% of death row inmates are retried and even proven innocent. These people were at stake of being executed. This is life and death we are talking about. There is no room for error. Cameron Willingham was executed for the murder of his children in 2004. After the execution, more research was conducted, and experts decided that the deaths had been an accident after all. There was no reliable evidence that the children were murdered. Cameron Todd Willingham is one of the many who was killed for a crime he most definitely did not commit. He left behind his heartbroken and loving wife. The death penalty is known for being racially biased. During 2001 to 2006, 50% of the death row was black. Experts have argued that the death penalty is handled in an extremely racist manner due to the fact that racial minorities have been known to get executed more often than Caucasian. Torturous electrocution is still used in 11 states. This is inhumane. It is not known how long inmates remain conscious after the electrocutions. Treating humans like this is extremely unethical, no matter what crime they committed. An example of this is the case of Mr. Evans. He was jolted by 1900 volts of electricity and Mr. Evans was still alive. He was then tortured in the electric chair until he died. Requiring doctors to participate in executions violates their oath to protect lives. The death penalty is an extreme example of hypocrisy. It is wrong to play God. No matter what crime is committed, it is unjust to punish murder by committing another murder. Finally, it has been debated that the death penalty violates the 8th and 14th Amendments. 